So fitting the halter is quite an important thing to know. Where to put the ears, where to put the nose, to enable you to have the correct control. This is not how you put the halter on. <laughs> the important thing to start with is knowing where the nose goes. So you want to place the nose in between the two knots at the top, which is above the main knot that the rope is hanging to. Quite often you can have the feeling that you want to be putting it on this way, but of course this is not going to work. It's always finding out where your two knots are. The knots go over the nose, and then you want to have the feeling that you can take the rope over the head, and then you are adjusting the size at this moment. So you want to have the feeling that you have the, the second knot underneath the jaw. The first knot that the halter connects to should not be too high, that you are having the contact with the horse's nose too high. You want to be able to direct the nose and not too low that the rope here is coming in the mouth. You want to have the feeling that it's high enough that you're having this control over the head and you have direct contact and control with the nose. The second most important thing is the knot. And of course with the knot, you want to go down through the eye, adjust your height. Then the easiest thing to do is to hold the loop up and go around the tree and through the hole so that your knot is placed around the loop. And when the knot is around the loop, so un down and around and not up and around, if you make the mistake of going up and around and you don't include the loop in the knot, if it pulls tight, then you have to be very good at undoing knots or you have to get the scissors out. So the importance of going down and around is the tail of it's going away from the horse's eye and number two, you can push the loop here to undo it. Push the loop, the rope can always come undone. So that's the correct way to put on the halter.